We're actually starting to make some progress with this. We have not one, but two pages of beginners fully done now, leaving us with only one and a half or one and a little bit over a half pages left on there. And then we've done two intermediates. We've done moon landing and shoots. So I thought, hey, we're doing pretty good. Our last one was a certified awesome run. So let's see if we can do an advanced one. And I thought for sure, like I can knock out another brick or like off the coast. So I thought another brick would be really fun. On top of that, we're rolling in the dough lately. We have 14 grand and no monkey knowledge to spend it on just because it takes forever to level up now, now that we're at level 100 already. So I thought, hey, let's use Churchill. And the reason why is because one, I never use Churchill. So it'll be more fun to actually like try out a new hero. And second, I was thinking too, because this is like a war torn area. Like it looks like this area has been destroyed sort of. So I was kind of going with the theme and going with a tank because the tank might have destroyed it in the lore of balloons. So let's go with it. So you know the drill. We're going to hit FN9 and then play and now we're good to go. And we're going to just put a free dart monkey here for now and then one here. And then I don't actually know. We seem to get rid of this actually kind of quickly. I just kind of panicked a little bit. That's a, a bad start, but it'll be fine. And we'll just screw that like that. Well, that's actually a really good spot for that. That's going to make up all that time I just lost. Now, I really like this map because when I used to make a lot of chimp strategies, this was one of the well, at the time, I believe it was like one of the only advanced ones I could actually do. And so I did it. And the strategy I used was an Arc Mage and I used a Apache Prime. So I'm actually going to try to revamp that old video. And I haven't watched it. I don't remember what the strategy was, but the main focus is, is that I use those two fifth tiers. So I don't remember how to get there, but we're going to just figure out something on the fly that'll work. And then hopefully the reason why is because if you put the wizard here, he can see through the wall so he can attack all the way up here. So he's like a great cleanup. And then of course the helicopter can attack the entire time making it like a really good and what I'm thinking will be a quick strategy. Now going with Churchill on chimp, especially on advanced is kind of silly just because you have to sit here and sacrifice time it takes to pop stuff to save up $1,500 in which you could order, I said order, like you could just order up anything you want. Like if on Impoppable, we're gonna have to take all that time to not get a farm because he's more expensive than a farm, which is just pure insanity. But once you get this guy, he is a powerhouse, like let's be real. He can hold off everything right at the front on his own, which is really cool. He can see camo, he can pop lead. I believe he can even pop purple once he's leveled up. Now that's like the bare minimum for spending a million dollars on a hero. He should be able to do everything under the sun. He just needs a way to make money and he's golden. Now I hope we're not going too far into the depths here by going into advance. I hope we're not staring at the sun too long, anything like that. I am a little nervous about the whole thing, but I also think we're going to do just fine because this is an easier map. But like always, I don't practice these or start them off or anything like that. So we are just going to be kind of throwing this in the wind and hoping that it works. But usually it does work and sometimes we'll make mistakes, but for the most part, it works out pretty well. Now, since we're on an advanced map, I gotta ask the question, if you could remove one advanced map from this game, what would it be? Now there's less advanced than there are beginners, so there's a lot less to choose from, but I don't even have to think about it. Literally, I lose sleep over this map, Geared. Geared can go away and never come back and I'm okay with it. The gimmick of it spinning around in circles does not do anything for me. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I have camo. What a loser. And it's just not, it's not the map for me. Let's just be real. And I finally beat Geared on Chimps thanks to Chom Chom's video. He like walked me through it pretty much and I finally was able to, I think I beat it on Chimps. I want to say I did. I remember spending a lot of painstaking hours on that map, so I think I beat it. But another one that also just drove me crazy that I could also get rid of if there was two choices would be X Factor. That map is awful. I'm not trying to spread negativity today, but that map made me lose sleep too, just because I thought I had this great ninja strategy and then also by Chom Chom. And then I just like would lose at the very end. I think I beat that one too, but just, oh my goodness, that game, that map drives me crazy. So what two maps or what one map, sorry, I went a little overboard. What one map would you get rid of if you had to? But since I'm leading with negativity, what map is your favorite advanced map? Now that's a tough one. I actually have to think of that. I'd say off the coast for me. Off the coast would be my favorite advanced map because I like all the water on it. You can do some really cool boat merchantman strategies and it's like, it's easy enough that it's not too difficult, but it's hard enough that it makes you feel good about what you're doing. I really like that one. This is the weirdest strat to go for. I just knew I was coming in hot with all my talking and so I had to go with it. Now, I don't think I've ever seen this combination with the green hat and the yellow stripes because we went with the balloon trap. I don't even know what I'm going for. It really doesn't matter. Oh, does it matter? Does it matter? We almost lost right there. 
This is hilarious. Okay, now we, all we have to do though is click advance three times. Oh, that's actually gonna be kind of slow, huh? Oof, that's not good. Can we start off with you yet? No, we cannot. So we're gonna grab this guy here and then go play and then play. And then we'll get you two. I think this will be like our start for all of them is just go with this guy and left-handed. But maybe I should have put him back more. Dude, Boomer might be solid for this because it'll be very satisfying too because if you put the Boomer back here and it gets like, uh, what round would be good like that? 36, right? And it's going to go up this whole thing around 27 where you got all those balloons. It's going to go down the whole thing. It'll be really awesome actually. Now, one thing I figured out kind of recently about this map is that you could remove these because I was like, why would you even need to? Like, what good is it going to do to remove those? I guess, oh, I guess it would be for something like the wizard because you could put him over there and he could shoot through the walls. But then I ask, why would you waste your time with that? That seems like absolutely no purpose, right? Because then you could just put him on this side and he could shoot through the track and not the walls. So that just makes no sense, to be honest. Now, if you guys have been following this series along, you should have enough for Churchill as far as monkey money goes, because I haven't been spending any of my monkey money except for like monkey knowledge. And like I said, we ran out of monkey knowledge, so we're kind of stuck with it. Plus, if you guys are accepting all of your achievements, which I told you in the beginning that I'm going to try to not collect any achievements, I think we collected one, but I'm trying to get all of the achievements in the game without collecting them. So you, you see this like beautiful golden screen. And then at one point, I'm just going to click all of them at once. It's going to be really, really cool. But if you guys click those, you're going to have a lot more monkey money, a lot more monkey knowledge. You can actually be ahead of me in where we're at now. So I hope you guys grab your Churchill because it is fun to try new things. But look, we're not even getting him until round 15 or even later. Like that's pretty crazy. And he's such a slow level up tower on top of it that I don't even know if we'll even have level 20 by the round 98, 99, right? I don't think we will. That's kind of, that's kind of gross if you think about it. I don't know if I'm really going to like that. And with this awful spot, you kind of want him right here where this dart monkey is. Hmm. We got to think this one through. I never thought of this for beginner mode, but just having this guy, if I can time it right, we could just easily destroy Moabs and get through these rounds a lot faster, I think, right? Oh, yes. Instant kills it. That is so cool. We could do that a lot, but now it's three times. Right? One, two, three. Okay, perfect. That's actually not that bad. I can do that. And now it's deflation and we know the drill, but I'm not going to do it, right? That's cheating. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to go like this and hit play for now. And then we're going to, oh, that's actually not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay. Okay. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. So we're going to go like that. And then we need some camo for now too. Oh my gosh. I'm going to screw this up. I know we could just go with crossbow master, but that's just not fun guys. I just don't see that as being the play. Now I still have $8,700 and these guys are carrying just fine. So what else could we use? Honestly, this will cover any problems we'd have in like 59 and just go like that. There we go. We could even do it a little bit better and just get an, oh, actually another bomb would probably be the best play here just for like a safety cleanup. Easy. Oh, almost easy. And then we'll get one more because I love to end deflation on $0. So there we go. Boom. Why did I place him there? Because I thought he'd be able to see here well and he cannot. So there you go. And to be completely honest, I really like the ease of just buying the crossbow master and calling it a day. So as far as setting it up, it's way faster. Don't get me wrong. But I did notice a lot that the crossbow master would allow balloons to come onto the screen a little bit in some cases, but this does not. I haven't seen anything. The fire is probably masking it, but oh my gosh, this is perfect. I got a really cool question in my comments though that I wanted to run past you guys. Someone asked me, do I have a second channel where I upload the raw uncut footage of this stuff? And I don't, but I was thinking, would you guys be into that? Now the caveat is, is that I would have to make it with no sound. So you can have pop sounds, but you can't have my voice at all because a lot of these, like when you see big skips, I'm just sitting here. So I might be like listening to music or I might be talking to my wife or something in the background to where that would, you can't include that in the video, you know? So like the day's going on in the background while I'm sitting here waiting for deflation to end sometimes. So I would just take out all of my mic audio and you just get the pop sounds and the entire thing raw uncut. And I'd have the balloons music in the background. Do you guys want that? Cause we're talking like two and a half to three hour long things here. I could just upload it on a second channel and you guys can have the entire thing unskipped. Cause I know sometimes I'll just buy upgrades without telling you and you'll have to vi visually look and see what's changed. But that could be something good for you if you guys wanted to use it as a guide. And like I said, it'll be on a different channel, so it wouldn't affect anything. Let me know what you think, because I thought that was a really cool idea. I can just go back and re, I guess I'd have to like re-edit all those videos. And sadly, looking into my footage, I think I deleted all just like the regular raw edits. So we'd only have like a couple videos back. 
so we wouldn't have the beginning ones. But from here on out, is that something you guys would be into? I'm bummed. I was actually just looking it up after I mentioned that and there's no way to recover what I got rid of. It just, these files get so big that it lags down my whole computer and completely, I think I have like a, like a one terabyte and it just fills them with all this footage. So it's, I have to take them out. Oh, there we go though. The deflation's already done. That was very simple. One thing we are gonna have to worry about though is another, oh, poo poo brown boater. We have another collection event going on. I swear there's one like every single day. And so with that, it means we're gonna have to, what should I do here? Like, how about like this? That'd be kind of cool, right? But now every few game modes or whatever, we're gonna have to do a collection event, which slows us down a little bit. But I think it's microseconds at that point, not a big deal. I don't know why I went with this tower. And yes, the, the placement's terrible. Don't, don't quote me on that. Don't judge me on that. But what I was thinking was this would have a really good range once we got to blade shooter and then it could just like get this whole area. That's actually a really good strategy to have like a, a flame right here as like a cleanup. But we're not doing that. You know why? Because we just did a flame in the last one in Candy Falls. And if you didn't see the Candy Falls video, you should definitely check it out because it was one of our fastest runs yet. But we had some mishaps and you have to see what happened because it was wild. Well, I'll tell you because I was going to tell you guys anyway because it kind of bummed me out. So we actually would have gotten first place. I wasted six minutes losing on Impoppable. And that would have put us in the first place run. Out of all of these runs, it would have been first place. And I was so, so, so bummed about it just because it was such a dumb mistake. And I was just so, so, so greedy. And you know what? Do I learn from my mistakes? No. Am I going to be greedy again? Probably. Are we going to over farm and not have enough popping power? 100% is going to happen. But that's just my life. And this is a terrible, terrible idea what I'm doing here. So we need to actually up this. We're going to get this guy up to a crossbow. And we're gonna go, okay, okay, I just don't wanna lose. So sell, sell, boom, 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 okay. Like this guy's good and whatnot, but like that attack was a terrible placement and I still don't have Churchill, oh my goodness. Now I've asked this before, but is it Churchill because of like Winston Churchill from like World War II, the leader of Britain? Or is it Churchill because I believe there's like a tank called a Churchill, right? Oh, no, 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 either way, terrible. Get that thing out of here. What are we gonna do? It actually kind of, it's a big bummer to go for Churchill. Like we just lose and not have enough popping power. Churchill, you're bad. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Like if we had Sada, actually though, would we put Sada just right up front? Probably not. She'd be safer right here and then we'd still have to wait the gap. So I guess it's really not the worst thing in the world. But it's kind of cool to actually get to use the left-handed arm for the the monkey like I don't think it really matters at the end of the day, but we get to do it. Like it looks like it's better shooting left-handed. Is this the right one or that one? I don't know, but it looks like it's better that way. But then at the same time, I, I just, I don't think it really honestly matters. So I watched a really cool video today by Makan Rules. If you didn't know, he also makes Bloons content and he did an entire like breakdown, a 40 minute video on all different types of farming in this game, including druids, boats, farms, what paths do what, why to use them, the whole nine yards. Now I watched it because I still don't know anything about that stuff. Like. I know obviously that like this farm is better than that farm, go with this cross path with that farm, but I am not, I'm not that technical when it comes to this game. And to me, I don't want to be that tech. Oh, use the ability, use the ability. Okay. I don't want to be that technical in this kind of game. Cause this is like my casual game. Like I just like to play it, have fun. You know, I save the getting critical and crazy for Pokemon. So I know exactly how many IVs and EVs I need to beat the next battle kind of thing. But this game, I don't do that. So I thought I'd watch the video to learn a couple of things here so I can know some stuff. And I did not know that the Middle Path Pirate Lord boat, the fifth tier, made money. Like it makes extra money and I had no idea. I did not know that was a thing. So apparently, if you pull an entire ZOMG down with him, you're going to make more money than if you pop the ZOMG. Who knew that? I didn't. I thought it was pretty cool. And then he was telling me that the, the overclocks do, I think it's like 80% to the top path farm. You get 80% extra of the money. I think that's how it's worded correctly. And I knew it was a lot because everyone says to do it when you're doing the like the boss events, but I had no idea it was that much. That's pretty wild. But sadly, even though I watched the video and I learned some cool stuff, am I going to utilize it? Probably not. Am I terrible? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm pretty bad at this game, to be honest. And I'll, I'll learn something and I'll forget about it. Like you guys will tell me something in the comments. It'll be really cool. And I'll be like, oh, that's, real, that's awesome. And then like the crossbow, I'll totally forget about the crossbow on, on deflation. I'll forget that in like three episodes. Don't worry. And then we'll be right back to square one. I do it all the time. I think a, a good example is the bottom path farm. I've been buying two farms, two zero twos, and then selling the one to get to the marketplace. Now I know I'm losing money, but I do it every time because it feels good. And everyone in the comments says, dude, you're losing money. But I'm like, no, 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 it feels good though. So I got to do it. That's just how I play. I guess I don't learn. 
But these spikes, though, am, am I right? Like, look at these things go. I don't think I made it in the range, did I? No, that was dumb. Okay, we'll do that one, I guess. We'll go with this one. We'll put him on a uh, smart. I was going to put it in the back. I want to up close. Dude, this is the way to go. What if you just had an entire screen full of farms on Impoppable? Just so, like, everything's a, f a spike factory. <laughs> it's kind of silly. It works, though. I mean, heck. What's your favorite cross path or what's your favorite upgrade tier for the spike factory? I really like super mines, but the fact that it costs so much kind of drives me crazy. But I really like that Carpet of Spikes has an ability like all middle paths do, but it's not like obnoxious. You can, it'll do it on its own. I think that's really cool because I'm not an ability guy at the most part. Like I, I'm pretty bad with them. They're great and like they're awesome. Like right now I could use this and it's going to help out, but I'm bad with them. So it's kind of cool that it, the Carpet of Spikes does it on its own. One, two, three, there we go. Medium and then mill. Oh dude, Apocalypse with the Churchill. We're going to have to change that. I'm sorry. And then what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? A boat, I guess? A boat? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just waiting for 550. It's going to... No, that'll take forever. Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do. This is this is garbage. This is garbage dump. Yeah, actually, I'm going to have to change church. I just thought about that. There's not a chance. There's not a snowball's chance in the, in the bottom place that we can get a church hill because by the time we finally get the church hill, it's going to be too late. We're going to get dunked on. Come on, pop them all, pop them all. There. Okay. I just need a... I just need a mortar, dude. That's all I need. Come on. Help me out here. I probably should have led with the mortar because he would have been like way cheaper with that monkey knowledge that we got. All right, here we go. Mortar. And we'll just put him right here for now. And then now that we have that range though, we can grab a sub, a submarine. Yeah, I was going to say substitute. Why was I going to say substitute? Yeah, he's a substitute for actually popping balloons right now. All right, then we'll grab him right here. doesn't really matter where. Dude, this is the slowest military only I've ever seen. I don't think I could have done anything better Unless maybe we, like I said, I think we should have started with the mortar and never bought the boat. But again, at the end of the day, it's better to at least pop slowly than it is just to completely lose. This is the weirdest strat I've ever done. But I think what I'll do is I'll wait for $400 and then sell this guy and then buy this one. And I think that should help out a lot. And then I'll get increased accuracy and put it here. Will that actually be good or no? And we'll get faster reload. My hopes is to get this to like a revealing camo, so signal flare. Now we're cooking with fire, literally. We have the Bernie stuff and things are actually looking up and the subs able to, where'd my mouse go? I lost, what the heck? My mouse just straight up died. <laughs> that was really bad. That scared me. I thought I was gonna have to like call a pause or call an audible or something. That was bad. Okay, but we're okay, we're okay. Now, what can I put here to do this even better? Like, how about like right here? Now we have double range. And the goal is, is after they both can see camo, then so can my sub, I think, right? And it looks like they're offset. Now, if you haven't timed that, there's really no way to like make up for it, right? Like you just have to place it at the perfect time to make that happen. Okay, I don't care. Let's lose some lives if we need to. That's fine. That's fine. We just need this one. Okay, there we go. To be honest, this strategy is really gross to me. Oh, dude, Pat or Pat Churchill. Churchill can see everything and he'll be able to see camo. So now this, I know it's not a good spot for him, but he can see the range. How come I didn't think of that? That's what happens when you just stick to like one or two heroes. I just use Ben and Sada and Oban sometimes. And that's like my life. So that's all I think about. But now we got two signal flares. So we got two camo eaters over here. That's pretty good. And then I guess we're just going to rely on the sub. Why is this like the hardest military only I've ever done? And the reason why I went with an advanced map, not only did I want to just like spice things up and I feel like we're doing better nowadays. The other reason was too, is that that's how you would explore this game as a new player. And that's what we set out to do in the beginning is play it as a new player on a new account and see what would happen. And that's what I did when I started playing this game. I didn't go in order in Black Border. I know we had a lot of discussions on this and it was kind of ideal to go in order, but that's not what I did. I would jump around. I'd want to test out my skills. I'd want to see if I've gotten any better, what strategies work, what don't. And that's why I like hopping around. And I think this is like a great introduction is a map like this because it's not the hardest thing in the world and you have some time. So yes, it is a single track with not many twists and turns. So you don't have as much room to attack, but worst case scenario, something happens, you can quickly throw this guy down and clean up at the end if you have some problem on chimps or whatnot. So it's fun that way. And then as a new player, you do want to explore. You want to get all your monkey knowledge. You want to buy new heroes and test things out. And that's what we're doing. We're testing out our Churchill today, which I never use. I thought I would change my mind because I did change my mind on the mortar. I talked so much smack on the mortar and I still, like I always say, would get rid of him in a second if I had to choose one. If you told me you can never play balloons again unless you choose a tower to get rid of, I would choose a mortar every time. But he has earned my favor as being a not bad tower recently just because he destroyed it on moon landing. Granted, it's a map completely and specifically made for him, but he still did good nonetheless. 
But Churchill, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna change my mind. Like he's not the best. And I really don't think, I'm gonna switch to Sada because again, as a new player, what do you do when you're a little worried or you're scared? You're gonna grab a tower or a hero that you know is gonna be golden. And my girl Sada fits that bill. She's just the boss and she's gonna make sure nothing happens. So we're gonna quickly, quick, quickly click home, click our Sada girl, go back, hit this one, hit advance three times, and then we're good. Oh no, no, not hard, not hard, you genius. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go to Apocalypse now. And she'll take care of us and make us not lose because 100% we would lose without her. And then this guy will be our safety because I don't plan on using him. And he worked out. He actually popped two red balloons right now. They made it past it. And I, again, I always forget that on Popalypse, the round doesn't just sit there and go on forever. Like it'll eventually go to the next round, even if the balloons are here, just because that's how Apocalypse works. And I forget that every time. Then I also forget that I have Sada. I need to be better at like audibles on this game, but if you've ever filmed a video of yourself doing anything, your brain goes to mush. And I play 10 times better when I'm on my own. Not that I'm much better. I'm just saying that I do play better when I'm on my own. But when I'm thinking of what to say or commentating on what's going on, it like makes my brain just dumb dumb brain i don't know why it just happens i guess but now i can go like that you saw that and we're good to go i'm going for druid out of the jungle first but i really do want to discover a new tower i'm kind of getting bored of going with the druid every time but he just works and he keeps us the safest so we don't get dunked on early on because you know those regenerative yellows come out of nowhere and just destroy the entire game so help me think of something that we could get besides a druid early on that'll just carry i was thinking maybe like a double shot ninja because i know we used that before or like, I guess ice shards right where Sada is would be pretty awesome. But I am gonna switch back to Churchill after this because honestly, Sada can just beat every single game mode on her own with her eyes closed, like she's the best. So I wanna do like something different. We're gonna use Churchill and I wanna try new things because I might discover a new way to use Churchill that I never thought to use before or just use them at all in general. And then we end up with something really, really cool. So far, I haven't seen any balloons, so I think I'm safe to farm. And as soon as I say that I haven't seen any balloons, guess what? I see balloons. It happens every single time. But I'm not going to do my super secret spy farming today where we buy two top paths and sell for the bottom path. Yeah, everyone wants to talk smack, say it's not the right way to do it. So I guess we'll just go with the greater production one, which I learned in that video today that you get... Oh, I see. I already forgot, guys. I, I don't know this stuff. I'm not meant to know this stuff. But I think you get two bananas with the regular one you get four bananas with the first one and then greater production gives you six bananas is that true or bananas as my buddies in uh australia would say and the banana plantation gives you like 20 which is just wicked i do know that marketplace gives you 400 dollars and I believe you get 416 if you go to zero, two, three, and you have the right monkey knowledge. I think it's a monkey knowledge. So 416 or 400 is really not that good considering we just paid like 2,500 to get here and it's gonna take three grand to buy the marketplace. So you're talking 5,500 bucks and we get 400 per round. So that takes like 23, 20, is that right? Is that, is my math right? Does it really take like 22, 23 rounds to get back the money we spent on our marketplace to get us there in the first place? That's actually really bad. That's really bad. Oh my gosh, but with all that out of my head, eventually we're gonna see a camo lead here that we're gonna have to take care of. So what would be the best for that? Actually, let's do this. I never do this, but flash bombs is great for like camo lead. I mean, it's not a great tower by any means. And then once we get the other monkey, I think that'll be good too. Because pretty quickly here, we're gonna run into like way too many mobs that we can't handle. So I think a flash bomb and a sticky bomb will be great. So this is pretty embarrassing. As you can tell, I'm uh, a little farther back than I was a couple of seconds ago. And I'll show you the clip of me losing. But I had to go AFK from my computer for first a quick second. Like it was literally a quick second. And I'm like, oh, I'm good. I have everything I need here. But I only had Sada for camo. And I actually had a mortar of all things. So I was like, oh my gosh, we can just put it right there. It'll be great. And then I lose. I look at my computer and I just see all these camos just being destroyed. And I'm just like, what the heck's going on? So we just lost a good, like, what, three minutes to a technicality. So I got to make that back up. I'm actually really bummed because I was going to give you this whole spiel about how I'm, how I love my enemy now. I think it's from Sun Tzu's Art of War. It's something along the lines of like, you have to love your enemy to know them or hate is love or whatever the heck that saying is. But I've been actually kind of digging the mortar lately, but now I don't even care. I don't even care to tell you the cool story about mortars and love and hate and stuff because I'm just mad now because now now we're like, oh, to lose that early on, that means we cannot make any more mistakes. This is our first advanced map. And if this was just like a normal chimp strategy, like I was just showing you guys how to beat a game mode, I would just start over and redo the whole thing. But you can't start over 
We're 40 minutes in now. You can't just start over on a full black border run because that kills the spirit of it. Not only would it waste 40 minutes of my life that I could never get back, but the main reason is, is that you can't, and then I'd have to come back in and like, like you'd have to fake it in a way. You'd have to be like, well, here's this tower I'm going to use. I don't know what to do on, you know, hard mode. It's just lame. It's not cool. You can't do that. You got to, you got to keep it real and have it flowing. And I, I'm just actually, I'm just bummed if you couldn't tell. I'm just panicking here. And no, you can't start over. That's the rule. You can't start over. You can't use continues because I only have one free continue and this account will never break that free continue. And you can't start the whole game over. Like you can start the game mode over. It's so like Apocalypse, you have to start over. That's how that works. But I'm saying I can't just reset the clock to zero and start from beginner mode again. That is just straight up cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I don't remember the rest of that song, but that's where it would be. And I ever liked that song because I liked eating pumpkins. Like pumpkin pie was like my favorite thing is like a pumpkin pie and whipped cream. So why would it matter if I was a pumpkin eater, if I was a cheater? Like, it's just stupid. You know what I just realized? I had camo. I had the sticky bomb. I spent like eight or $9,000 on upgrading this ninja to a sticky bomb with flash bombs or flash bangs, whatever they're called. And that, if that does not prove that tower is awful and terrible, then nothing. I totally forgot. I thought I was just relying on Sada for camo, but no, I had the worst tower ever and I'm never going to redeem him again. He is terrible. And that actually kind of upsets me because I just thought to myself like, oh, you didn't, you know, it's your fault. You didn't prep, but I did prep. I had like eight grand of prep in camo. So now we'll just do it the simple way. Now nothing can get past us. And we just have to worry about a bunch of Moab. So to keep that pretty simple. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Whatever you're doing, don't do it. I'm so losing my mind here. Okay, let's do this. Two of these will make sure nothing can get past us. Oh, so stressful. So stressful. I'm so bad at this game. I panic. I panic, which is crazy because in real life, I don't panic. Like I have, I'm like panicless in real life. Like literally anything could be going on around me and I'll just be like observing it. But in this game, I just like immediately freak out. I don't understand what it is. I think I just have too many hours in this game. It's just become a part of me and I don't know what to do. Like one time I was 19 and we had this chihuahua. And my mom's like sitting there yelling from across the house. I'm like, what's going on? I, she's like, oh my God, the dog's choking. She's choking. And I'm like, what the heck? And she goes, she ate chicken. So I, I walk out, didn't panic. I just walked out. I just, I literally took my four, I took my front finger and my thumb and just shoved it down her throat and grabbed the chicken out. And like, I didn't even think about it. I like no thought went through my head other than like choking, fix it. And so I just went whoop and I yanked the chicken out and she just, my mom just looks at me all weird. And I'm like, she's good. <laughs> and then we went back to our day. It was the craziest thing. But I was born with the ability to not panic. Okay, are we going to take down that Moab? We did. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So if we're going to get a bunch of Moabs, would it be beneficial to use some... Oh, jeez, wrong one. Stupid. It would be. Would it be beneficial to use, like, Unstable Concoction? Because that makes everything blow up. So if we get, like, six Moabs in a row, it might be actually good to have that. Because then we'll just pop one of them and they'll all go kaplooey, if I'm not mistaken. But we still need more damage to these guys. So how about... See, that's what I'm worried about. That's not good. But if we put this guy up front like that, we should be okay. Yes, okay. So we're getting good damage here. This is actually not bad. Now, just because we can, we'll put some ice shards here and embrittlement. Yes, yes, yes. Is this what advanced maps are, though? Just a bunch of random junk placed around? Because I feel like that's what we're doing right now. Just placing random stuff everywhere. But I mean, it worked, so it's okay. But how weird, right? Oh, that's done. Okay, keep it going. It says round 61, though, so that time it went a little farther. Oh, you terrible, terrible person. Go get out of here with that. That's going to just ruin my whole day, to be honest, but we'll deal with it, I guess. Reverse, and we're going to switch back to Churchill. Dude, how much, how long is this taking? Oh, my goodness. Reverse. Every time I think of reverse, though, I'm, I never falter. I always tell you guys, I think of uh, the cha cha slide. Reverse, reverse. Well, how's it go? One hop this time. Slide to the left. Slide to the right, crisscross. And then, oh, the worst part, everybody clap your hands. And then there's like a specific beat. Like it's super specific. Pop, 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 pop. And then you're always gonna get like 14 people that are like all over the place, their claps. And you're just like, all right. The song tells you what to do. <laughs> like it tells you what to do. Just do what it says. <laughs> like I'm not much for rhythm when it comes to dancing, but it's not that difficult. But everybody thinks it is. I don't get it. And if you've never heard that song, where are you from? Because out here in the US, every single wedding, every single school dance, every single birthday party played the cha-cha slide. So if you've never heard it, you gotta let me know where you're from and why you haven't heard it. Like, have you been living under Patrick Starr's rock? Because that song is super huge. 
I totally did it again. I was sitting here saving up for airburst darts and I realized we have a hero. That just settles it right there. Churchill's not good. The fact that he costs so much is just really not good. Because by the time you get him, is he even worth it? Like we're going to struggle on chimps getting to him. I think we're going to have to go with a very similar strategy to this. I think we're going to have to put a dart monkey right here, buy a submarine with airburst darts, and then buy our Churchill. And that's like the only thing I could think of. I know what I got going on here is kind of confusing, but I'm running tests for later on in chimps. I'm thinking, do you think it'll be smart to have this tower here as a cleanup, the monkey sub? Because I'm worried about cleanup on chimps because all we have to do is make one dumb mistake and we are done. But then I guess that's why we have the Archmage at the back of the map too, because he can then shoot through the walls and then clean up. Yeah, okay, that's the whole point. Because if we have this guy here, he can shoot through the walls and then also be a last defense cleanup too. I need to like, oh, I could have pulled that. I'm super focused on chimps because although it may seem like I'm wasting time, oh, silver border, that I'm thinking about it, it's actually not bad to think about it because it's better than losing four times and then being stuck in a really bad spot. I'm actually gonna go start off with a little bit of a different strategy up here. And are we in hard mode already? Oh my gosh, okay. And we're gonna put this guy here too. I just wanna make sure we're good to go because I have to think of like what to do here. Oh, see, that's not good. That's really bad, that's slow. So we'll get you here for now and then go like this. This is what I'm worried about with Churchill and on chimps mode too. This is gonna be a little, a little wonky. But like I said, I think it's better to spend the time now than it is to spend it later just being destroyed in chimps. But now guys, I think we're actually getting to the point where I need to stream these live. This one's fine, off the coast is fine, uh, corn stock or cor cornfield, whatever it's called is fine. But like some of these advancement up like geared or X factor, I'm gonna have to stream them and we're gonna have to go over some strats together so I don't make any terrible mistakes because that's my biggest concern here is that when we get to these harder maps, let's say geared for instance, I don't have a chimp strategy in my head that'll work right off the go. So I could essentially be sitting here for like six hours with the timer just rolling. And then it's like, how fast can you black border geared, but it's a little skewed because I've played Monkey Meadow so many times, it's just ingrained in my head that it's easy for me, right? I can do it there. So I should have the same feeling when it comes to chimps mode on the harder maps, which would mean I need to stream it. We need to come up with a cool strategy together and then I will use that in the full black border run so we can keep a reasonable time. One loss is okay, two losses on different game modes, whatever it might be, but you can't just have like a 12 hour timer going for one map, which is what would 100% would happen if we just jumped into half of these harder maps. Like I'm even a little worried about Spring Spring because I kept thinking about that one too because that was another one I wanted to try. And I'm like, but hang on though, like what would happen if I accidentally, oh dude, you're too much right there. Oh dude, 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 come on. What would happen if I accidentally did spring spring and we placed everybody in the front and then we just lose because one gets to the back. So those are those maps you gotta like kind of work on a little bit. Dude, this is already getting too, cr I think Churchill was a really bad choice. By the time you get him, he just doesn't do anything good for us. So I'm a little worried about this Moab. I don't have really much to take it out. So I'm just gonna go with this and then use his ability. Will that be enough? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. We have to do this. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is not good. Oh my goodness. That was not, that was not what I was expecting at all. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. We're gonna have to do this one and then buy a helicopter here, aren't we? Oh my goodness. That was not good. And then Alk buff him a little bit. Like this is, this is, the timer's rolling guys. This is crazy. This is insane. Oh my goodness. I thought Churchill was strong enough to take out a Moab on his own and at least break down like the top couple layers of the ceramic. So then the bottom path boomerang, or sorry, the top path boomerang would have taken out the rest. And that just wasn't the case. I'll admit that I over greeted a little bit, but that's still, I just was not expecting Churchill to not be good enough. But I'm determined to learn to use him. So we just got to utilize it a little better and just maybe build up. If we're going to save up for a Churchill, which costs 1500 or 1800, whatever it is, I think we should utilize more strategy before we start farming. We should put some more towers down to help that out. But I think when we're worried about our strategies, this will always be a solid tower to keep right here. Just because with this, no Moab will get past us and then we can clean it up. So, okay, that's exactly what we need to do is keep them up at the front. I think Moab shove is actually a secret key here that we should have been using this whole time. That's crazy. And it doesn't slow the game down. It actually just speeds it up because now everybody's attacking one spot rather than spinning around in circles a dozen times. I did it again. I totally forgot about camo. The only camo I have is this one, a Churchill and a, a wizard, a two, zero two two wizard. Like what a genius. But then I was thinking, so you get 50% more money from pops by having it inside of a monkey town, right? 
So technically what's better? Is it better to have three marketplaces making me 1200 per round? Or should I get 50% more per pop per round? And it should be even more than 50% because I have Monkey City now, right? So I should be making tons of money. This guy can't even hang. He's still, oh my goodness. I need to have a recursive with us just to even beat 63. Okay, that's a lot faster. That's garbage. So at 35,000, I can sell everything and then buy this one. And now nothing should get past us. We should be fine. And I don't even need that high price of a village anymore either. So this is pretty much what I was gonna go for and then have the wizard as well because I think he's gonna have crazy range. Oh, the monkey sense even gives it range too. Why do I always forget that? And if I have this here, okay, now we got that range. That's even bigger. Now I'm kind of worried though. I don't know if this is the best strat for speed. That range isn't what I was expecting. Now it's obviously gonna be strong, but maybe I should put him over here instead because why do we need all this wasted space right here? Again, I'm talking about my chimp strategy. I think this is what I wanted to go for. I wanted to go for an Archmage and then a an awesome plane helicopter like this. Monkey Town and Monkey City don't work on chimps, right? Like you don't get extra money from it because you can only make so much in chimps. You can't make money. So that would mean you can't make the money, right? Now, if you could, that'd be insane. But anyways, I was planning on having this set up and then having the helicopter down here so they could all be under the same village and then have Churchill up here to kind of break everything down. And then also, you know, have an embrittlement, maybe a... Uh, Cripple Moab, if we can afford that much, I don't think we can, because that's like 70, 80 grand for all this stuff. No, it's like 100 grand for all this stuff, actually, because the chopper's a lot. So would that work, though? I don't know. I'm trying to think about that. What do you guys think? That silver border looks clean, though. I'm not going to lie. Now, Churchill with Magic Monkeys only kind of sounds like garbage, but we can start with this one and then get this one, and we're good. I love the ninja, guys. I always do. I say that, and he's, he's probably going to struggle a little bit right now just because we're going to get too many blues on four. I don't think he can handle it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Dang. Uh, I think the Druid would have been a better choice for that, but we're not losing too much time. But I get to finally test out what I always talk. Like, what did they say? Preach what you speak or something like that or do what you preach? I don't know. But I always say you can get a 202 Ninja and get any hero that you want to get with that. And we're going to test it out because 1945 is what Churchill costs right now. I don't know why his price goes up every time I get into a new game. I swear it was like 15, then it was 18 in hard mode, but now it's 1945 in hard mode, whatever. But I believe that we can get all the way there with just this guy. Now, I know for a fact we're not going to die or anything. We're not going to lose the game. But I'm thinking I could keep this, like, awesome speed going and get my Churchill with just a 202 Ninja. And I just got to throw it out there again because it's it's still stupid. Why does a Seeking Shuriken's Ninja make him have more range? Ninja Discipline should give him more range. He has learned to shoot farther with his, with his Shurikens. Like, that makes actual sense. But having Seeking Shurikens make them go farther? No, doesn't even make sense. See, and I got Churchill and now we're kind of lagging behind. Like that dude, I don't know about you, Churchill. I don't know if you're any good. Like we should not be getting this far into the game. This is kind of worrying me. Like we're getting all the way back here. Oh, Churchill, Churchill, Churchill. Like this is cool though. He is holding all the balloons back. So I can't complain about that. Like he's actually doing solid damage. All right, if this team doesn't make this super easy, I don't know what will. Okay, that was good. I did have to use Churchill's ability too, though. It made it too far past the Flame Wizard. But now we have a pretty solid team. I think if I get stronger Stimulant, I should be able to hold on for a while. But before I do that, I think I do want to get this guy just for the money, right? It won't be the best. But if I put him on strong, he should attack. Or just how about last? Just to keep him shooting backwards. Now, I know it's not going to be the best because he can't even attack fast enough as far as this guy like destroying everything. But I do think it'll give us that extra money that we need. Now, 63 is always rough for me just because there's not many towers here that can destroy 63. A Sun Avatar would, but that's going to cost a lot of money and it's no guarantee. So Spirit of the Forest is the way to go, like 100%. So maybe we should just go for it. But I've done this math and this game and song and dance a million times before. There is not a single chance that we can get 35,000 by around 63 or 37,000 on its own, like without farms or nothing. So I'm hoping that this guy does his part and I'm hoping that this ability can get us like two or three grand by then and then it might be possible. I mean, worst case scenario, we could sell both of these for eight grand, so we should be okay. But you saw how slow that Moab was. That's not good. Like we don't really have, oh, I didn't even think about it. Like we have terrible Moab popping power. Let's see on round 52 though, if it's actually that bad. Here we go, some Moabs, I think. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's not the worst. Let's just go into the fire. I can I can deal with that. 
So I don't know if we're going to be able to take this, are we? Oh my gosh, that was way too close. And we're already on 62. We need $10,000 here. That's not good. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell, 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 sell. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, geez, that was not what I wanted. I mean, 63 is going to be completely a joke now, which is okay. And then what I think we'll do is we'll just go with flash bomb. That should take down everything pretty quickly. Plus we get a thousand dollars per round plus his little ability. So this is definitely the tower to go for with magic monkeys only. Like there's no other choice except for maybe the fifth tier bottom path wizard because it just destroys everything. But this one makes you money. So you could technically have both because if you go with the bottom path wizard first, you're not going to have enough to buy the spirit at all. But if you get the spirit first, you might have enough to buy both and then you're just really killing it. This strategy is a destroyer. I have both of these guys on strong and there's nothing that can be done now because they can shred through any type of ZOMG or BFB or tons of Moabs. So can this guy and then he cleans up literally everything without even a, a struggle. The spirit is finally one of like the best towers in the game. I've been wanting this forever and they finally did it. Like he's awesome. And that's even without the monkey knowledge. I just realized I don't have the popping thorns one, which I rarely use, but sometimes comes in super clutch. Like let's say a bunch of things got through and a couple mobs got through. If you use that thing, it's going to destroy everything in its path, which is great. But for the most part, like this is pretty wicked. Like this guy's good. And then Churchill's second ability, I think, does help actually a little bit. But I think I made about 20 grand with the spear. Oh, no, did you just stop this? It's not necessary. I'm never going to not complain about that. Like, it just stresses me out. And I totally, it's always unwarranted. Oh, my gosh. Double HP mobs. I think we can get through this one pretty quickly. Now, for this one, what we're going to do, obviously, start with a dart. And then we're going to just go all the way up with it, I think. Hopefully, that's enough. It's such a weird way to do this. And it's not going to work, is it? I was trying to go for crossbow or this one right away. And it's not going to work. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna sacrifice a little bit just for this one. I mean, this is really good though. He might actually hang. <laughs> right? It was like, dude, every time I swear to you, every time I say that, I get like shot in the foot by it. Every time. I'm gonna sacrifice though, because I don't want to buy another tower and waste like some more time to get. Okay, see, that's I didn't want. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't buy no stupid ninja or some stupid sniper. We're still struggling a little bit in the last second, so I am gonna put. How about like right there, right? So I can still get those end ones if I need to. We'll let's go like this and that. Oh, but then he doesn't do that. We need him on first, so he takes these down. So a double sniper strat's actually killing it. These two together are great. He handles the leads, he handles the camo. <laughs> he ham handles the camel, and that's actually pretty good. And then for this, I think we'll just keep it simple and just go with a Moab Assassin. I don't see why that should be any problem. I don't know if we can afford it by then, but we should be able to. And as you can tell, I greeted, it, of course. But with this, yeah, dude, this will be sick. And then I'm just going to leave my finger on the second ability while I just worry about other things in farm and stuff because this should be pretty chilling. As soon as I see it, and then of course, of course it gets overwhelmed. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. I'm so tired of this. No, we're okay. We're okay. I'm just going to grab two marketplaces and now we're totally chilling. I don't need that extra money there yet. And then I think just to keep, keep it simple, a bomb. He'll just keep everybody honest, nothing crazy happening, but not even a good bomb, just the regular cluster bombs. And then along with greeting for an extra farm, I decide to go with another Moab shove and then we're going to go with deadly precision. These all together should knock out them pretty well. But now I don't really have good camo. We need to fix that right now because I know it's going to cause us a problem. Okay, did that cause us a problem? Like that was actually starting to rush through. I don't know what that was. Was it the camos that I last second got or was it just too overwhelming for us? But I'm hoping with Moab shove and then this guy right here, we should be okay. And then I think I should move him back a little bit just so we can actually get in everybody's range. Now this should be okay. We don't have the best Moab popping power, so we need to work on that. I think keep it classy. Just toss this guy in. This is actually really good. And I'm gonna go with the long range on this one just to get it a little bit better. And with embrittlement up top, these things aren't causing us any problems. But I'm gonna actually keep them locked up here so they get a little bit better up there. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it right there. And if we alk buff them too, I don't think we're ever gonna have a problem. Now the question is, will this be enough for 63? And it kind of answered itself like last second. It's a little scary to be honest, but I think we'll be okay. It's getting way too far. Because I mean, four tacks and then two of them off the track aren't the best for this. But it's getting the job done. But that does tell me that I need to keep it a little bit safer and we'll go with this one. And then a random, random thought just got into my head out of nowhere. Why isn't this in military? Why is it in primary? That makes actually absolutely no sense. Like it's not a primary tower like bombs or military. That's very, very, very standard stuff there. Just a random side thought. 
But since these are only 15,000, let's just do this. I just sold both of them. I, I wasn't going to sell that early, but then I'm like, oh, we're already close. So I don't want to sell this last farm. And then we're almost there. And then we have that one. Now we should be okay. And like, well, I know we're okay, but I just think we should be super fast now. Especially with this show up, this show up mob pushing it right there. Oh my gosh. Is that pig Latin where you say the words wrong? Instead of Moab shove, it's Shoav Mub. How does that even come into my head? That's what I'm telling you. Your brain goes to mush, guys. Totally forgot a sticky bomb, too. That should probably be a, like a standard in something like this. We'll move this one out of the way and put it right there. Yeah, for this, like, why wouldn't you go with a sticky bomb? But then I went with Comanche Defense, too, because why not go with what we got? These are these standard strats that I don't like. I call them, like, smush strats or like clusters yeah cluster ugly i do not like doing like a million things but at least there's some pattern to it because it is just a bunch of tacks with some alex so that's okay but i'm not the biggest fan of this just so you guys know i think it's ugly to put a bunch of towers together usually i try to go for like five or six towers most and then just have a few fifth tiers and then i try to utilize them all but that's just me because i have many many hours in chimps mode so i guess i'm a little bit of a weirdo in that way but this should be fine. Can we even take this down? Just in case. Oh my gosh. Just, oh wow. That was, I think I needed to buy that to be honest. Oh my gosh. You know what I just realized too? We're on hard mode on an advanced. Oh no, 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 no. Not a chance. Not a chance. Are we going to use you on that? God, that would have been awful. Okay. Here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to put you here, you here, and you here. This is the best we're going to be able to do. And this is kind of what I'm thinking for chimps mode. Granted, we start off on six on chimps, but this will be kind of what we have to do. Can we even do this one? Okay, that, that worked. But you see how like precise that had to be? Oh no, this could be actually really bad. Let's have this one shoot down that way too. Okay, now to get Sada, I did this stupidly. I put the wrong one there because he doesn't sell for anything. So if I sold it, it wouldn't be a good spot, but I need to sell it to put her there. That's the best spot for her. Dang, that was dumb. I just got to keep telling myself it's better to win slowly than to lose fast. I just made that up. I should put that on a t-shirt. I like that. And even with a couple hiccups, we're not doing bad. We're at an hour and 36. So we have about an hour to be in like a normal spot that we would be in. Would this be enough or no? Did we just lose a bunch of lives? No, we did it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we're so good. Okay, we're getting ready to sell here. And we're going to go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Sada, go, 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 go. Okay, we got our camo covered. We have our lead covered because I could use her on 28 with her ability. I can't believe she's doing all this in flip flops. That's awesome. What part of the world are you guys from? Do you call them thongs or flip flops? I hear down here in Southern California, you hear flip flops for her sandals or you call them sandals, I guess, but sandals are more like uh, something that you would cover your ankle into like a mandal or something. And I think, I don't know what else to go with. Actually, I need to stop talking. I need to think of what to do here. We need to keep it cheap. So I think this will be good. Like a flame. We can call them flip flops, chunklas, thongs, or, oh, slides. I've heard slides a lot, but slides to me are kind of like those ones that have the, just the one strap over the top that people wear socks with. Weird. But that's, some people do that. But we just call them flippity flops or floppy flips or flip flops. Dude, Sada's so good. She just solos everything. I love it. And this is the worst spot for this. I was, I was kind of expecting it to be in the corner, but hey, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm happy with this so far. Sada's in front so we can pop all the purples. And then this guy's in the back to clean up with his fire and everything. Now we got to worry about the Moab and not much is actually going to make it good here. The Moab shove would be a solid tower, but I don't want to use it that early on because we don't need it from rounds 40 to 50. So I think we should go with something else here. I have a kind of cool idea. What I'm going to do is double or not double discount. I can't afford a double discount right now, but I'm going to discount this into a helicopter. And the reason why is because we just need to break the Moab and then Sada comes in clutch as always and just takes it all down. So I just need to chase this big guy and then use her ability. So chase it, chase it, chase it, pop it down and then use her ability. There we go. That's what I wanted. Dude, she's so good. And all those costs cheaper too, which was great. So I double discounted. Now I spent a lot to get that, but it made this like $300 cheaper. And now when I buy camo, should be a lot cheaper, right? Do I want camo right off the go or do I want to get a better tower here? I think a flame guy in the back would be good. And now it's going to be cheaper because I'm going to grab a double one here. Is that cheaper now? Should be like a lot cheaper. Definitely need it though. I'm like getting a little bit swamped here. Oh, there it is. Now it's showing it. Sometimes it doesn't. That's really weird. So I don't know if this is a terrible idea, but I'm going to do it. I think this is a really bad idea because we're not going to have any money for 63. But I plan to get this one and now I'm going to get 50% more pops for everything. So we're almost to like regular cash mode, right? And then what I think I can do is get this one right here. So we'll put it like right there. 
and then we'll get Arctic Wind, and now everything should freeze in front of us, and then we grab a bomb. Oh, wow, it's not really a good spot for it, but we go like this. Remember, we have Sada, too, if we need it. So Sada, we got her right there. Oh my gosh, I had to use that? That was gross. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Dude, we can't even take down Fortifieds. This isn't good. Dude, that was not good. Let's see if we can take down this first one. We can, okay, that's good. And then once I get this for 3,000 though, that's a lot of money, oh my goodness. I'm just really worried about the Moab class. We're not doing good on that at all. Okay, we got the bomb, we're good, we're good. Dude, are you, oh, jeez, 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 jeez. So I don't have jungle drums yet, and I think that's gonna help out a lot. And then I got this one. Okay, this is actually working out a lot better. Ooh, this was a tough play here. I think I screwed up by going with this one. I thought it was gonna make us a lot of money. I really did. I don't think it's not making us money, but I think I spent more on dealing with that than just like not getting that. Cause we get half the cash, but at 50% more, should it be better? Like I wanted to get Monkey City, but I don't think it's worth the effort to grab it at this point. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I noticed this. I don't even have camo. We would have been totally dunked on on round 78. I had no idea. It's all Sada and this guy right now. That is so stupid of me. Okay. Oh, that would have been so bad. I would have just lost and been like, what happened? What happened? But I think for round 80, I was gonna, yeah, let's just buy the main Moab. I know it slows things down, but with the sticky bomb, it'll break down. We have Moab shove and we'll at least get out of here like pretty clean. We won't have any problems. So he's going to hold him there and Sticky Bomb's going to blow it up. And it will slow it down a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. There we go. And then we'll use this ability and then use this ability. And then we, we're good. We're done. That's all we needed to do. Back to my boy Churchill. Back to select. Play. One, two, three. There we go. And now we're on alternate balloon rounds. This is awful. But we'll get there. And then we're going to put a ninja right here, like always. And I want to get Seeking Shurikens, but I think that's a bad idea. Well, no, we'll just sacrifice a little bit, I guess. And then we'll have a free bar dart monkey here as cleanup. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I came up a little short on money. On 10 when the leads come, don't we normally have fast firing a ninja and all of this, but we just didn't? I mean, this works, but that was just weird. Oh my, see right before Churchill, we get this like loss right there, but now we should be okay. Now, the problem with Churchill that I'm having the biggest issue with is that I think he's more of a chimp's tower than anything now that I think about it, because he completely takes away our ability to farm. And that's kind of why I'm not a big fan of him. Cause it's now round 23 and we don't have any way of making money. We're just going the old fashioned way. And I don't even have a, a, a camo lead popper. What a genius. Okay, dude, time, time to step it up. Time to really get in the game here. Let's get rid of you for now then and buy this one and then buy the wall of fire. I still didn't, still didn't do it. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be our camo lead for now until I figure something out. So now it's round 27 and we don't have a farm. I gotta figure out a better way of using him. Maybe it's to get him later, but he just levels up so slow. I just don't think that's it either. Here's all these camo leads. At least we got him without getting getting dunked on, I guess. And since it's alternate balloon rounds, we're gonna have like a death squad later. I still think this will be the best play. And we'll just put him in a Moab shove. And we'll also get these two too, so we can see camo as well. But without Moab Shove, there's no way to take down a fortified Moab on this. I'd have to sell both these farms and then just buy like a middle path bomb or something. And the problem with that is that it's going to come out another Moab like two rounds later. Alternate balloon rounds is tough. So I think the best way to do it is just to slowly take it out. And again, it's better to go slow and win than it is to lose fast. And that's what we got to think about here. So I would like to get Dragon's Breath. That'll be a nice cleanup because right now we don't have a cleanup. Like, actually, we don't have a cleanup. Oh my gosh. We'll just take it down slowly and then we'll use his thing. I'm gonna actually slow it down here. This is weird. This is weird slowing it down in a, in a fast play here. But I'm gonna use this ability now. Okay, that was not what I wanted, but it's gonna work. Wow, this is where we're at, guys. This is it. It's really Moab Shove that's saving the day right now. But I thought to double discount this guy because isn't it normally like 22,000, 23,000? And with him, now we don't have to worry about that. And then we get some knockback, some ultra vision. Now he's just golden. And we'll definitely have the Sun Avatar before 63, and he's a solid tower. Our first BFB is on 54? That's not good. Oh my goodness. What really, really, really scares me the most about Churchill is that I don't have a, a cleanup backup. With Sada, you can like frantically press her one or two ability, and it will save you from dire death. But with this guy, that's not the case. It doesn't really help you. It helps you in the moment, but not like saving grace. So... That actually really freaks me out for champs mode. Like right now it's good to use, but even then I'm like not seeing like a drastic increase. It's not like I'm using 
something like a uh, overclock and it's like, wow, look how fast he's going. Is this alternate or double HP? I thought it was double HP. I'm so confused. I get really mixed up where I'm at. But what I'm doing now is I did get the Monkey City because in this it will help us get a lot more money faster. And what I'm thinking is once I get $28,000, I can sell all three of these and I could buy the Bloons Master Alchemist. Now it's normally something we wouldn't do, but the Bloons Master Alchemist does not give a hoot or holler who he is throwing those golden mushrooms, no, golden potions at. And so what I'm thinking is when those double ZOMGs come out at the end or fortified BFBs, he's not gonna care. He'll just destroy everything. But now that I'm like getting there closer and we're doing really good with just the Sun Avatar, I don't wanna waste the money. Like we have extra farms here, but we're kind of at the end anyway. So I'll sell two of them. How about that? And then we'll buy the BMA and now we should be good. This guy's gonna start racking up big dollar points over here. Oh, see, 2100 to 6500. He just destroyed two fortified BFPs. That's exactly what I wanted. We're good. We're golden. And I think that he's in range, so it should be getting even more money for it too, right? Oh, and would you look at that? Still a double discount. Gross. We're going to destroy some things here. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck just happened? Oh my goodness. Oh. I hate this game. Why does this happen to me? What do we lose to? I honestly have no idea what just happened there, but I, I'm actually pretty uh, morally boosted, unboosted from that because that was just garbage. Like, honestly, just pure garbage. And I don't know what that was. I, re I really don't know what just happened. So if you guys can let me know what you saw, but it looked like the BMA was just handling everything, but maybe it was like an over influx of stuff. And then the Sun Avatar just like up until that point, the Sun Avatar had everything going like no worries. And then all of a sudden, boom, done. Not sure what happened, but we're not gonna let that happen again. So I just went with two sun avatars this time. I was trying to be like clever and I thought the BMA would actually be a solid choice, but that's just not the case. So we need 34,000 for Comanche, command, yeah, Com Comanche commander. And then what, so what we're gonna do is just sell all of these and I think we should be right on the money. And now we, oh geez, come on. A thousand bucks, you got this buddy. And now we, there we go. So now this should be getting some pretty solid pops and these two together. Obviously we're gonna win. I just trying to make up some lost time here. And I did decide to go with the Monkey City again because as soon as I got it, we started just making oodles of money. So I really do think that's a good play. Regardless of buying a bunch of farms and whatnot, I just think it's good to have the Monkey City and then double discount these villages so you can get like cheaper camo, cheaper MIB if you need it. It's really cool. Now as you can see, we still make good money. And round 80 has two, are they two fortifieds? I'm not actually sure, but I don't think it matters since we have this like unstoppable team. We have two fifth tiers and then two fourth tier sun avatars, pretty good. And now I think we are on to impoppable if we can get past this garbage real quick. And I am gonna continue to use Churchill. I know we could probably go faster without him, but I do wanna use him. Like we need to test out new things. That's what this game is all about. If you just keep using the same tower, that's gonna be boring. So what we're gonna do for safety to know that it's gonna work 100%, we'll put this guy here. I know that this will work. And we'll leave him on last too. And it's not the best way to start, but it will get the job done. And then it'll let us grab our 2160. Come on, Churchill. I'm hoping I can grab him early on, like right away. It's not good, I don't think, to have him that, I don't know, I don't know. This is what I don't know about using him. And we're sacrificing some early times, but if we can grab him, we should be okay. And right here, I might have to buy something last second unless this dark can help me out. I might have to like buy quick guns or whatever. No, we actually got them all? Dude, that's sick. Okay. Okay, you're doing really good. Keep it up. Just a couple hundred more dollars. Just don't make me get to like the very end and not be able to get Churchill. Like that'll pretty much upset me to the core. But we need him early so we can get that level 20 if it's even possible. There we go. Oh my gosh, so close, buddy. Watch it not work. I swear to you. I swear to you, this game is stressful. Okay, I'm just going to slow it down for here just to make sure we get it. Oh, it's 2160. Dude, can you even get that? Okay, there we go. There we go. Churchill, pop something. Okay, that's it. Okay, we got it. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. That that took way too long. So we're gonna actually rebuy this guy up here. Now this is working, but we don't have camo yet. Like that's not gonna work for me. Or a way to pop all these balloons. We're gonna, are we really gonna lose right now? No way, no way. I'm not gonna take this. This is purely insanity. I need to like keep buying and selling to even get this. Okay, so now we have airburst starts. We can at least hold on for a little bit, I'm pretty sure. And then this guy will have camo by the time we get to 33. I need to farm, otherwise we're just dead in the water. I think going with Churchill makes this 10 times harder than it needs to be. If we would have started with Sada, we'd already have a farm right now, and then probably a wizard or a druid, and we're golden. This is so weird to me. 
Now, triple guns and a Churchill should be able to take down 36. I don't see why not. Now, it's the fact of if I can get there or not in time without losing. Okay, now 30, okay, 36. Thank you, Churchill is actually doing some good right now. I love it. Now, obviously the main problem I see right now is that we don't have a way to pop this Moab. We can break it down, but we're used to having a Benjamin or a Sada to do the cleanup or Benjamin makes it disappear and we do not have that. So I'm hoping that this guy can break it down early and then both Churchill and them can like fight together. Ah, oh, this could be bad, but we're gonna ch attempt it right now. I'm gonna use the ability here and then did it work, did it work, did it work? Okay, it did work, okay, okay, okay. So far, so good, I'm happy. Now I know on 47, we get a bunch of ceramics, so I'm just gonna actually keep it safe for once and then grab this armor piercing darts first. I don't want to use another substrat, but I think we'll just use it to get us to where we need to go. I'm kind of thinking like, should we use that on chimps because it's a guaranteed win? It's not even a guaranteed win, right? It could still mess us up, but we just need to stay safe here. But this range is immaculate. Like that is why we have this guy. So I need to focus on what to do now. I think I'm going to double discount again, just because that's the best way to do this before we get our monkey village or monkey town. It's cheaper now. And since we are good at cleaning, we're good at popping these mobs down. I'm going to go for a cleanup tower. This guy should help us out like quite a bit. Now, the problem is I just went with monkey town, but our sub isn't in range of the monkey town. So we're not actually getting like it's full utilization on it and it's not the best it could be. So we need to get rid of the sub and get a better tower to help start cleaning up here. I think this one for sure. There we go. That's actually really good. Dude, now we're killing it. Then I can sell this farm and buy another farm here. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted the whole time. Here we go. Now for now, I'm going to hope that this guy can carry us through on 63 with two boomers. I think we'll be okay. Oh, we're destroying 63. That's fine. So a bomb and two boomers is actually pretty beautiful. And then what I'm going to do is sell both of these. That's 6,000 and then 3,000. So $9,000 and we need 35,000. So we need 16 grand, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Jeez. Jeez Louise. And my math's wrong, so no, don't quote me on that. But if we go like this, boom, 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 boom. Okay, there we go. Now nothing can get past us. Okay, and we're gonna make a ton of money. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. I know it's gonna waste a little bit of time, but I need to check if we can get this one. We need 500,000, we have oh, 363,000. That's never gonna happen. We can at least help it out though, and I know this tower is gonna do good too. So we'll just go with turbocharged bionic boomer for now. Now with perma charge, I don't think we'll have any problems. I'm gonna get an MIB here just to be safe in case I forget and the DDTs come out because then we'll get wrecked on. But with these two, I don't think nothing can get past us right now for a long while. Yeah, we're not gonna even see ZOMGs, I don't think. But I do wanna see here. So here's 79, at least the end of it. And do I see a ZOMG? Yes, actually we see a lot of it. Nothing's gonna get past us, no, but we do see a lot of it. And if you can't guess what I'm going for here, super mines, 150 grand, we're gonna do it. I know we normally go with like the Apex, but I don't see this being any slower. This is just a shred machine and it like explodes things from across the track. So once we get it, it'll kind of be broken. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a balloon about to leave the track right here. What the heck just happened? Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, that would have made me cry this far into it. That would have made me cry. Oh, no, 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 this game, this game. Let's just get out of here. Let's just do this. I'm done. I am physically done with this game. I. Th it was just a ZOMG, honestly. That should not cause that much stress. I'm kind of bummed out. Like maybe, yes, maybe the answer was to go with an Apex Plasma Master like that. We'd have already had it and it wouldn't have been a problem. Obviously, I mean, we're still making good money though. So I'm going to grab this carpet of spikes and then we'll do like a double spike strat. Like, I mean, can't complain there. It's going to be fine. Then I think what I'll do is I'll sell this bomb. If I can fit this guy in here. There we go. And then we're going to go all the way for this one and then we'll go bigger just because I don't know where it's going to be. And then we'll put it on smart. Actually close, actually normal. I just honestly can't believe how embarrassed I am about what just happened though. That was so gross. And then we can grab this one here and then that should help out a lot. Blue incineration is actually really, really good, but I don't understand what just happened. Like we're going to be fine. As soon as we get to hundred, I'll just do this and I'll just do this one and then do that one and we're good. Now we can get to chimps mode here. That was sick. I almost lost though. That's what really scared me. So we got to go here and then go hard and then chimps mode. There we go. This is going to be a one and done though. I promise you. I hope so. Anyway, we're going to put this here as like a backup. Like I talked about, we're going to put this one here and then put this one here and this one here. That is like a guaranteed beginning strat that'll work. So I don't think we're going to make it to 2160 because 15 is going to be way too hard for us. So what I think I'll do here 
is this guy will help out at least. He won't be any good right here, but it'll be solid enough. That is 2160. If we had Sada, we'd be fine. And this wouldn't even be a thought. That's what's just kind of gross to me. If we fail, which I don't think we will, but if we do, we're going to Sada. I'm not even going to mess around with this anymore. I'm hoping this guy hits all the pink ones and then we can deal with the yellows on our own. He can't. He can literally... Uh, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Churchill's bad. He's just a bad tower. You know what? No, I'm not a quitter. We're, we're stick... Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself. Okay. I hate myself. I do. So I did mention getting a sub earlier in this run in the beginning, and I think that's what we're going to have to do here. Oh my goodness. That was almost a loss there too. It just... This is not good. Churchill just is too much to go for on an advanced map, but I, I just... I'm not a quitter. So I think I've had to retry a couple of times here, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I might have to even get air burst starts and then camo too. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get air burst starts. That's 100%. There's no way we can hang with this. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll get air burst starts and then we'll get this one and then camo and then hope that it's enough. And now we should be able to get our Churchill. And if we can't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm hoping we can get him before the leads. All right, there we go. Churchill. Not sure he's going to be worth it, but at least he'll do. Oh, he can't even pop zebras? <laughs> Dude, are you serious? This guy that good? So I'm not going to go with any extra. I'm just going to let this one do its thing and hope that it can pop them all. That's really kind of scary, but I think it'll work because this is going to be my main popping right here. I'm going to have to. I'm not going with the substrate. I'm still going to go with my same helicopter strat. I just think we have to come at it a little differently because we have this garbage team right now. So this is kind of scary too because Churchill can't see camo yet. How far? Okay, one more level and you can see it. I find it feel like I should just buy. I'm gonna buy it. That was kind of a waste of money, but I'm not. I know we won't be able to pop all these white balloons with just this right here. So now he'll be able to help, which is good. So here's my setup. It's a little funky, Cole Medina. But what we're gonna do is just go straight for Apache Dart Ship, and then I'll get my village and everything like that because I'm pretty sure Churchill and this sub can handle any camos that we're gonna see anytime soon. And then the reason why I put him down here is because I'm gonna grab a village here and then put my Arc Mage here. And I'm I'm really thinking that I probably shouldn't have gone with an Arc Mage strat. I still can change it. I just wanted to kind of recreate what I lived back in the day in my glory days and do that. But then again, I think it'd just be better to just go with a, an Apache Prime and a Perma Spike would be a guaranteed win. But Arc Mage is just such a cool tower. I think we can make it work. And essentially it should do more damage than a Perma Spike because it's gonna attack up here and then also down here. And so why didn't I just put it up there and let him clean up at the end? I just don't think he'll clean up as well, huh? That's probably what it was. I like that it's getting just a little bit too overwhelming for us right now, right before the Apache. It always happens. These mobs are a little too crazy. Here we go. Okay, now we're safe. We can save ourselves on 63. We're not gonna have a problem. So I need to get camo now. Luckily, what's kind of crazy is I'm looking at these times right now and we still have the ability to not be even close to last place on an advanced map, which I'm really excited about because shoots was terrible on an intermediate three hours and 35 minutes, three hours and one minute on a beginner town center and monkey meadow was two hours and 59 minutes. Now monkey meadow was our very first one. We didn't have any fifth tiers. I don't think, I think we only had a couple and we had to get a pop-up screen every five seconds, letting us know what balloons were going to come after us. Oh, that's a little scary, which has happened. We'll use our ability on the last rush. And I believe the same was for Town Center too. We got many, 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 many pop-ups. So with that said, oh wow, we're getting overwhelmed? Getting way overwhelmed. What the heck? I was going to try to go straight for 48, but I don't think that's going to happen. But long story short, we have the ability to come in like 10th or 11th place overall. No, it'd be 11th place overall. Okay, now it's up to me to start using abilities because I would like to double my income right now and get the Apache Prime right away. If we can do that, this will speed up the ending tremendously, phenomenously, if that's even a word. And so I'm going to start using my abilities a lot every time I see like a wonky Moab or BFB because the barrage does help. Like this is fine. We can let those go. I think it's just BFBs I'm going to be kind of concerned about or actually like this one. It's going way too far. So I'll use the first ability on that and then barrage on the BFBs and that actually helped a lot. Barrage kind of is bunky, but I mean, it works. And I'll use my first ability again. Yeah, let's just keep spamming abilities. We'll need $18,000. I say it like it's easy because we know, oh, dude, 75's coming. You know, we're just going to get dunked on. This is actually a really bad idea. You know what I was thinking though? Can this guy take out 76 or can he not? Like that's actually not a good, that's not good. Like, I don't know if he can. I'm going to start using this ability too. Okay, we could. Oh my gosh. I think it was the ability plus this one having the... Uh, like regrow blocker because that could have been really bad now 78 oh my gosh i don't think we can rock this one either i'm gonna try the first rush here i'm gonna see if it'll work i'm gonna slow it down and see 
Can we do it or no? Okay, I don't know if we could actually do that. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna get bigger radius jungle drums. I know it puts us $7,000 back, but I think I need that speed. I'm gonna use my ability here. Come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this, you got this. Okay, that speed up helped a lot. Okay, we're there, we're there, we're there. <sighs> if anything, I can turn this little guy down here into a snowstorm later on to help us out, to slow down those DDTs. But now it's like, when you do this in chimps mode, it's what freaks me out is that we could have gone with jungle drums immediately and it would have sped us up probably like 30 seconds to a minute faster by now, adding all those times together. So that's kind of a bummer. Now here's the breaking point. I really want to use Archmage, but I don't know if it's a good choice. Cause this guy's good, don't get me wrong, but I don't think Archmage is good. I think it'll be okay, I really do. I think it's time to add in my buddy though, just so we can speed this up a little bit. I think he's gonna help out breaking down these ZOMGs and stuff. Now, I would like to get this before 90, but I think I'm gonna have to actually get a Monkey Intelligence Bureau before anything, because I don't think we can actually take down DDTs with just this guy. He needs that MIB to make his rockets pop. Okay, we're gonna test it here. Can he handle it on his own? See how slow that was? It works, but it's not the best. I don't know about that, guys. Dude, those DDTs are going way too far. So I have to get it. Oh, that's so not good. Cause I need it for 95. I have to have it for 95. Oh no, 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 no. See the Archmage, I don't think was the plan guys. I don't think it was the plan. I don't think this was the plan. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down. I know that's not the best idea right now, but I, it's going to help for sure. So what I figured would happen. So as soon as it gets in range here though, that's will help out. And then we'll keep them here, keep them here. And then we'll slow it down now. Now we can catch back up. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm going to barrage. I totally forgot I could barrage too. I should have done that on 95, huh? Okay. But there's our Archmage. That'll help out a lot. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Now what I need to do here is grab a Moab glue, but that's not gonna help the DDTs though, huh? Cause there's no camo. So I'll put them back here and that'll be like our last ditch effort, I guess. I think that'll help. Maybe not, it's like getting way too far. That was 98 though, we're fine, I think. Okay, I'm gonna slow them down just to be safe. Yes, okay, 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 we got this. Are we actually gonna do this guys? Oh my gosh, already broke it down. There we go, Archmage help out. Okay, it's taking way too long though, way too long. I'm gonna actually do this too to help out when we get there. Oh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, use that. Those DDTs almost made it through. We can slow it down in a second here. Slow it down. Take them out. We did it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, go home. Hit the button. FN9. Okay, hit the advance. No. Seriously, why does it always do that to me? Okay, advance. FN9. Okay, two hours and 50 minutes and 42 seconds on our first advance map. And that puts us at, I believe, 11th place. It bumps Scrapyard down to 12th. And we're in 11th place. So that means three beginners are below us. That is awesome. 11th out of 14th or 11th out of 15th is not bad at all. I'm just trying to get under three hours all these advanced and crazy ones. Oh my goodness. But I know we can do off the coast better, cornfield better, and underground will probably be better. I can no guarantees. But with just a little less dumbness on my part on apocalypse and impoppable not saying the beginning of chimps because we just didn't plan for that so there's nothing i can really do but those other two on impoppable and alternate no and impoppable and apocalypse we could have saved like another five minutes and put us probably in a better spot even so there's still a lot to learn guys we got to get better but that's going to be it for today hit that like button if you made it all the way to the end subscribe if you have not already and if you have not yet Check out this video where we fully black border Candy Falls, which turns out to be one of our cleanest and most fun runs we have had yet.